real, that's a big boy. I'll come over here. I'll come back. <clears throat> what trade did you go? Straight, right? I went straight, so go to left a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Oh no. Ooh, mass chaos. Where's that? He's right here. Oh, and he fell off. He did? Yep. He pulled the hook. It wasn't a big one, it was a small one. Okay. I'm in that same area. here, lip grips, and then in this pouch I have some uh, Ziploc bags and some rigs. But the typical things that I'm going to be using are swim shads, bucktails, and plugs. And you know, I'll use the fish, the 5 inch, 4 inch swim shads. Just like this. Now I got the 4 inch, have 6 inch, that's when I'm going to be fishing. Um, I'm going to be fishing bucktails. 
Here's an SNS bucktail right here. That's when I'm going to be fishing, but I'm also going to be fishing plugs. You know, during March and April when the stripers and the bluefish come around, that's when I'm going to be fishing. And in my plug selection, I have glide baits, minnow diving baits, a metal lip, and a popper. So the first bait that I have is a Tsunami Timberwood Metal Lip. This is the six inch size. I'm gonna be fishing from five inch to six inch size metal lips. This is a sharp truce, or they call it line truce. Um, a very reliable plug when you're actually striper fishing in the back base or in the surf. My second lure is gonna be a glide bait. This is the new Tsunami Salt <laughs> The new Tsunami Tidal Pro Twitch Bait. This is a five and a half inch, two and a half ounces. A just nice plug on I'm out back base on, or on the surf. Um, that's what I'm going to be using to imitate a dying bait fish. And you also need minnow plugs. So this is a again a old Tsunami uh, diving minnow, uh, minnow plug. This is the board ball. I'm going to be fishing this color at night. And then this is the Mad Mantis Quake. This is the frostbite color. I'm going to be fishing this during the day into the early dusk. And then you always need a popper. And this is the most, the best known popper. This is the Tsunami Talking Popper. This is a six inch size. And this is just a great lure when the bluefish also come around in mid-April and a great striper lure. So that's my lure selection, my bag selection, what I use during when I'm out here in the piers, bridges, and docks and beaches. Well, enough chit chat. Let's see if we can get some fish tonight. Yep. Fish on. Hey, came through. Nice one. Feels like a nice one. Oh no, okay. Alright, hold on. Yeah, he's he's going wild. He's going all buck wild. Right, you're gonna have to lower it. Yeah, hold on, he's 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 going a little nuts. Alright. He's in? Raise it? Here, lower it the There we go. Woohoo! Baby! He's in. Here, watch out. Right there, got him with two hooks. Right. He's gonna flop. So. Okay. Sorry, just be quick. Yep. Put the plier right underneath the hook. He's gonna flop around when you do that, so twist it, okay? It's in the little pouch. It's in the little pouch. Pinch it. It's 28 inches. 28 and a half. Um, actually, he is 29. Bring him back. Bring him back a little bit. There we go. Make his. So right there. He's got to be touching there, yeah. At the line. Bring him over. Bring him over. There you go. So he's 20. He's. Almost 30 inches. Almost 30 inches. 
<sighs> what a way to start the 2024 striper season. Beautiful 29 inch fish, little skinny, very fat, fought like a champ. Ooh, gotta get up. <coughs> oh, look at this fish. And just a beautiful fish. Tri bass are right, the best fish to catch here in New Jersey. A keeper striped bass in New Jersey caught on some blood worms, salt bags, six cells start the hook. Let's go, baby. Oh, we'll see what we can do. We got a west wind, and the wind is in front of us. So, gotta see what we can do here. Up on the top. Yeah, he's right here. Bring him up. Oh, uh, you got him. Oh, did he get a baby? Oh, there you go. All, all right. right. You're on the. You're on the. Uh, on the board. board. You're on the scoreboard. <laughs> you're on the board. Yeah. That's one board and I caught. On the scoreboard. Nice. There you go. Thanks. Oh, you take him off, man. Whoa. You take this off so it doesn't make a racket. Yeah, it's several Bob, get this out of here. Don't put it straight up and down like that. Though. No, you don't like it? No, because when people cast it, you know. All right. Just lay it down on the ground. Okay. Nice, dude. Really fat. Cool. Oh. Yeah. All right, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'll throw them over this side. Get it, get it, get it. Get it. Real, 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 real. Go ahead. Oh, man. GoPro dive, but that is on. You need that? Hey, can you help us out? Here you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't lift it there. Don't lift it. He's coming with the net. Okay, you're in. Woohoo! Good job, Dad. Good job, and the tape measure's in the car. <laughs> it's a small one. You want me to hold it? You want to pick him up? I'll take a picture. Dad, you want to pick him up here? Nice little striper. All right, let's try to get in the sun. Good job, Dad. Oh, there's one. Oh, they got him in! Oh, that's a big boy. That's a big, that's a big boy. Nice and easy, Dad. Hey, can we get the net? Hey, if he wants to take drag, let him drag. Just keep reeling, Dad. 
killing it over here. Just keep reeling, just keep reeling, just keep reeling. Nice little call. Let's go! Just keep reeling, that's a big boy. There he is! That's the mole! <laughs> So you're at uh you're at 29 and a half there. <laughs> Let's go. 31, right on the money. Close. Come on, big up. Close. 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 Oh, not that bucket. This bucket. I'm gonna take a picture this way. Yeah, I'm gonna get the fishing is not showing. You gotta be careful with Zach. Don't do that for the dog. I didn't center? get on it close. Uh, no. Is it kept the fishing? Get the fishing is all the way over here. Pull back a little bit. I just cast over here. Leave that guy over there. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's heavy. Alright, welcome back. And we're in the famous pit kitchen. And we are doing the cat's clean cook. We didn't say that in the video, but we are doing a cat's clean cook. Uh, we did the catching. Now we're going to do the cleaning. I'm going to show you. We got mom's in some up. And we're going to show you on how we cut up the shrimp bass, how we cook the shrimp bass, the style we cook it, and everything. And bonus, we're going to do also do a fish soup. So, mom is going to get the knives ready. We're going to sharpen up the knife. And of course, we're going to take the fish out. Ahem. <clears throat> Alright, mom, So we're gonna actually fry the fish up and we're gonna do steaks, right mom? No lo hago filet, lo hago. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do striper steaks. And the way we do our steaks is basically we cut everything off of Okay, so I'm going to serve you another potato. 
to cut all the fins off and all the control fins. Okay, it's the most severe now. I you ready. So now I have the little microphone here. Can you hear me guys? It's really, really loud. But basically we're doing cutting all the control fins and we are scaling the fish right now. After a few catches, and you can do this for all types of fish, but we're doing it for the stripers for the striper steaks. But you can do this with any fish, um, some flounder, bluefish, porgies, sea bass. Just to name a few. <laughs> And do you need a sharp knife or a dull, dull knife? Or does it doesn't matter? Sharp knife is actually better to take off the scales fluently. There it is. All right, just take off all these scales when we're cutting it. All right, there we go. All right. And. Here it is, there's the striped bass, a scaleless striped bass, and that is what we're gonna use the steaks. Get a bit of the underbelly. And probably what one of my favorite parts of cleaning up the fish is actually opening the stomach All right, and there you go. So like I said, just to show you guys, you want that striped bass empty. You can see in the stomach, you want nothing in there. You got a few intestines up there into the head, but we're gonna take that up. We're gonna clean this fish a little later, but that's basically all you want. You want all the intestines and everything out, and you want a very smooth fish, um, just like that. A very scaleless. And look how nice that fish is. A little bit of a blow line, but we're gonna cut that up. As you guys can see, you know, have that nice blow line there. We're gonna cut that and the meat is so, so nice. So nice. simple technique to cook up any kinds of fish um and a, a sea bass and porgy fishing offshore on the jamaica 2 video we did a similar way but we fried the whole porgy um but just beautiful white steaks and striped bass a lot of people don't like to eat striped bass but you have that thick white meat and that is very tender one on each side all right, this is my favorite part, getting your hands dirty. And fishing, you get your hands dirty and everything. So, yeah, in my hands. So, no, I'm gonna put a little bit of pepper. Basically, we're gonna marinate the fish. Oh yeah. That's why we kept the fishing aprons, baby, to save the day yet again. All right, let's go. So basically, we want to marinate the fish into, you guys can see, we want to marinate the fish in there. So the juice and everything sleek in there, the, the garlic. It's 
garlic in there. And a bit of basil. Here, you want me to do it or you good? Or marinated. You can do your own special, uh, you know, mixture and everything, but this is just how we do it. Um, and I made a mess on the table. I'm gonna keep marinating our fish. And that's what we want. We want everything to sleep in there. Alright everybody, we are back for the cooking portion of this video. Uh, so the ingredients we have, we have striped bass, flour, yes. flour, cabbage, <laughs> cabbage, cucumber, um, green uh, bell peppers. No, esto es para hacer la sopa de pescado. Cebolla, calabaza. So this mixture you said apio, is what? Onion. Onion. Uh, celery. Celery. <laughs> um, it's a green pepper. pepper. Green mm -hmm. pepper. Yeah, and calabaza. And uh, pumpkin. Pumpkin. <laughs> so that's gonna be for the soup mixture. Let me put this technical difficulties real quick. So, <laughs> so we have our seasoned fish here. What are we gonna do first? The primero vamos a hacer el pescado frito. So we're gonna cook it fry. We're gonna fry the fish, right? Fry the yeah, steak. Ya está sazonado. Fish. Solo es para ponerle. So basically just make sure everything is patted down, you know, put everything on there, put all the flour, and just keep doing it. And how many minutes are we going to fry the fish? <sighs> 10 minutes on each side, which is actually really fast. Flour on there. And get some onion side. Alright. Make sure everything is nice and covered up with the flour. in the mixture. So, you know, we're going to keep it in there for about 10, 10, 20 minutes, 10 minutes on each side, 20 minutes in total. And then we're going to cover up the head of the straight bass and cook it up. And what are, gonna be, what are we going to do over here on this angle? Um, like you said, this bowl right here is going to be for our soup and all the other vegetables. I don't know what we're getting. <laughs> It is done. The fish is done and look at the platter. A golden, beautiful taste. That is really, really good. It's not, the way we cook the striped bass, it doesn't have like that fishy taste. It's just like, it tastes like chicken. It just tastes like chicken. Nice, sweet, tender. It's just delicious. It's, that's all I gotta say. And um, that is the end of the video, everybody. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, 